Hi, my name is Will Carmack, and welcome to your Mjolnir Masterclass. So in this tutorial, we're going to learn how to track 3D lightning onto your hammer, learn how to make it look all cool, glowy, etc. And before we get started, this amazing Mjolnir Masterclass is sponsored by Squarespace. And let's get freaking started. So step one is going over here to your tracker panel, and let's hit track motion. And we want our lightning to scale and rotate with our hammer. So right here, we will hit rotation and scale. And this will give us two tracking markers that we can put somewhere on our hammer. I found these two dots right here were absolutely freaking perfect for this track. So what we're gonna do is basically just isolate where these little track points are and make sure that they're big and juicy like that. And if we hit analyze forward, you'll see the magic start to happen. Oop, did you see that? Okay, right there when it slips, you see right here, it slips a little bit. What we're gonna do is just move that back, boop, and then just continue to go frame by frame. And now if we watch that back, look how perfect and flawless our track points are. I mean, this looks so satisfying. All right, and so now what we're gonna do to make this editable data, we're gonna go to layer, new, and null object. And this null object, um, will be our target for this tracking data. So we will come to the tracker panel, edit target, and you will see right here layer, we're gonna switch that to null number nine. So we'll hit okay, and now we have to hit apply, bam. All right, look at this, super juicy tracking data. So now the next step is um, getting our lightning assets, and I actually have a few faves of where I get these. So I actually purchased this right here, which is from Film Riot. They created their own amazing like electricity pack. And so that's what I'm using. Um, but also there's free assets on footagecrate.com. So all of these resources I'll link in the description below. And so now let's find some lightning assets that we like. This right here is pretty juicy. And so I'll bring this into our composition. And if I set this to Add, and if I hit Y to grab the anchor point tool, I will bring that to this the end of the strand of lightning right here. So I can put it somewhere on the hammer and scale it down to kind of fit the shape, bam. So I'll do something a little bit like this. And if we grab the pick whip of this arc and drag it onto the null object and watch it back, ooh, super juicy. Okay, oh, I'm gonna reposition this. If I bring this to the beginning of the hammer, check this out. Now we have a looping arc right there. Very, very cool. And basically once you have this super juicy tracking data, you can just keep adding um, arcs of lightning like this as long as you pick whip them to the null object. Right now I'm looking at my cool lightning strikes so we can bring in our lightning strike. And you can see here we have this lightning strike asset. And if we link this to the null, it's pretty cool. Our hammer will shoot out lightning. Bam, you see that? Very cool. I'm gonna duplicate this and we can move our anchor point to the bottom of this lightning strike and rotate it and we can move it to the other side of the hammer so it's like zap, zap. Do you see that? Our lightning is kind of going left, right. Duplicate that strike again and maybe put it on the very top of my hammer so we get this little sequence of zaps. Zap, zap, zap. It's very cool. And obviously, as you can tell, um, the lightning doesn't look very impactful because there's no glows on it. So what we're gonna do is click on our lightning and we go to our effects and presets panel and I'm gonna use deep glow, but you can use after effects native glow and it will look really good. So I'm just gonna copy and paste this deep glow onto all of my little electric assets. So now we have Thor's, oh, this looks so cool. This looks so good. And so I'm just gonna keep adding all of these different lightning strikes. I just wanna add as much lightning as my patience can handle. Cause I do think the more lightning, the more cinematic. Remember, we just have to keep setting all of these to add. We'll add our deep glows and we link it to the null. This looks awesome. Bum, ba -dum, bum, 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 bum. And I really, when you really like a lightning asset like this one, it's just like fun to duplicate it and move it around in every which direction. Now we have tons of lightning coming out of our hammer and it looks super juicy. And so now we want the lightning to kind of like blend into the hammer so it looks a little more real. So we're gonna mask the hammer out. And so our next step will be duplicating our original hammer layer and I will bring it on top of everything like so. 
and I will grab the roto tool and just mask this bitch out. I'm actually going to mask out the hilt because we want the um, lightning to be behind it. And we'll hit freeze to lock in our mask. All right, perfect. And now we have a perfect little mask of our hammer. And so now what we can do with this mask, so it can perfectly like hide the edges of the lightning that we just tracked. So it doesn't look like it's like sloppily tracked on there. Like this looks so good. And so now what we can do, so if we add a glow effect to the uh, hammer here, if I isolate that, you can see that the hammer is now glowing and it will just like look way better against the lightning now that the hammer is actually glowing. And what we wanna do is right here in glow, there's this threshold and this basically controls how bright you want the glow on your hammer to be. You can change up the glow intensity if you want and play around with the threshold until you have like a glowy look that you enjoy. And this just adds the right ambiance to your hammer shooting out electricity. And a great trick, if we alt click on glow threshold, we can type in wiggle 12, um, 20. What this is gonna do is have the threshold adjust a bunch. So your hammer is gonna like flash as lightning shoots out of it. Okay, maybe this was a bit much. You can see what I'm trying to do here though. Um, I think 20 was too much. Let's change it to seven. So it's gonna, ha it's gonna happen 12 times a second at a percent of seven. <laughs> Honestly, that's still a bit much for me. So I'm gonna change the glow intensity down and the glow radius. And so now your hammer is like flickering glow as it shoots lightning out of it. Now this is the way if you're a cheap bitch, if you get rid of glow and you have the subscription of Red Giant, I love using optical glow. You have to set it to unmalt and crank to uh, highlights only. So if you crank up highlights only, it will only affect the brightest parts of your hammer like this. And the reason why I like this glow so much is you can pick the color of it. And so I like to change my glows um, a little bit of blue like so. And so now we've got a nice blue glow that's coming out of our hammer like this. It looks very godly. You can play around with the amount, the size. This looks awesome. And a great thing we can now do with this um, hammer mask is use it as an alpha mat. So especially with the Film Riot assets that I've purchased, there's these great sequence of ones called Surface. So we can actually apply this cool lightning texture to exclusively just our hammer. So if I bring in this surface asset, if I scale it down and I set it to add, what I can do is I can use this track mat pick whip and apply it to the hammer and make sure that you remake the hammer visible. You can see here now that the lightning is only applying to just this hammer. And of course we wanna add a deep glow and so now so now if you see we have this beautiful surface data that is only on our hammer um, and again this is we need to make sure that this surface is tracked to our null so if we watch just this back and so now we have the uh, surface lightning only affecting our hammer mat i mean this just looks super fucking cool so i'll unsolo all of this this looks awesome and now we've got like such a good thor's hammer Oh, you know what? I need to put the glow back on. Ooh, and now, oh, and now look at this. This just looks awesome. So that's basically the base on how to do Thor's hammer. And once you play around with the colors of your lightning, um, your glows and all the different assets tracked onto the hammer, you can get something like this. And now obviously um, my Mjolnir is on a long pole because that'll dovetail into um, my next little trick, which was Thor's flying hammer. So I actually, put my Mjolnir on an Insta360 selfie stick um, because you can see here that the um, the technology in these 360 cam cameras get gets rid of the, the selfie stick. So if you're able to put your hammer on top of it, you can get something that looks like this, which is pretty incredible. So I rinse and repeated the process I just told you for this flying hammer. You can see that right here, I tracked the top of this black line and the bottom right here. And I, and I tracked the rotation and scale. And so as my hammer is flying, um, anything that I link to this null is gonna spin with it. So this tracking data is like literally flawless and perfect. And so what I did here was I looked at 
footagecrate.com, this website here. I typed in blue energy and you know, you have all these like really cool assets of like things that you can add to the bottom of your hammer. And I was looking for an asset to like hide the little line. So I'll, I'll do this rocket blue exhaust looping. I'll download that really quick. So if I bring this um, rocket asset into our um, comp here, you can see it right here. I'm gonna set it to add and rotate it and I will put it on the bottom of my hammer here. Maybe something like this. And I can link this blue flame to the null I just made. And you can see here, it's gonna track with my hammer flying. Okay, this is a really bad asset. Oh, and by the way, I'm rinsing and repeating like literally everything I just showed you, but with an invisible selfie stick hammer. So you can see here, I've masked out the hammer and I've applied a glow effect to make it like glowy and blue. And I added, and what I did was I tracked in these, those assets I just showed you from Footage Crate. And I got this amazing like blue exhaust energy line coming out of the back of Mjolnir, which I thought hid the invisible selfie stick really well. And I'm just tracking on lightning and so as the hammer is flying, like everything um, I showed you in the first compositing trick is just happening here. Oh, I mean, this looks just so fucking cool. <laughs> and that, ladies and gentlemen, is your Mjolnir Masterclass. I mean, look at this. This is just so freaking cool. So truly all it is is a mix of motion tracking and finding really good energy elements somewhere online. And now that I've left you with a technique that will make you money as a visual effects artist, please consider signing up for my sponsor, Squarespace. From online stores and marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace is an all-in-one platform. Let's say you want to be an incredible business person like me. Squarespace will set you up for all the success in the world. First of all, you can create custom merch all through them. They will help you with the designs. They handle the shipping and the inventory. So all you got to do is show up with a good idea and they'll help you execute physical products that'll help you connect with your audience. But what if you actually already make stuff and you want to sell stuff? Squarespace has you covered. They've got retail online stores that you can build. So if you sell jewelry, maybe furniture, you can list this stuff on Squarespace and you have an amazing retail website. Okay, but what about my content creators and influencers out there? Maybe you don't have like furniture that you're building that you wanna sell. In member areas on Squarespace, you can upload exclusive bonus content that you're not posting anywhere else. You can drive traffic to your website and make profit by monetizing memberships to exclusive content they could only see on your Squarespace website. So become a business person with Squarespace. Create custom merch, sell retail items, or make money through monthly subscriptions to your bonus content. It's incredible. The options are endless. Best part is I got you hooked up with a discount code. So if you go to squarespace.com slash Will Carmack, you'll get 10% off your first website or domain. Thank you for sponsoring this video, Squarespace. I hope everyone learned something today. And where there's a will, there's a way. My name is Will, and have a nice day.